humans, welcome back to the Absolute Value series. And in this video, we're going to be talking about creating absolute value. This is uh, an easy topic, but you can't really figure it out unless you know the content. So some of the questions on the SAT could be difficult, but you're still able to figure them out. This one is unfigure outable. This is a word now. It's unfigure outable because you need to know the principle. So you'll learn it real fast. Um, creating an absolute value has to do with the definition of an absolute value. And do you remember how in the first video we said that it's always positive? Why? Why is it always past positive? Have you ever asked yourselves? I know I have, and the answer that I found is that the reason it's absolute, it's always positive is because the number outside of the absolute value denotes distance. And distance cannot be negative. Even if you're going back, your distance is always positive. So just know that the number outside denotes the distance. But what about the number that's inside? The number that's inside is denoting a coordinate that is equally distant from the other two coordinates. So if we were to graph this, we're going to have the x axis, negative 5 denotes that the coordinate is actually 5. And then we're going to go 7 units to the right. We're going to end up in 12. And then we're going to go 7 units to the left and we're going to end up at negative two. So this is the scenario that this absolute value presents us, that there are two points on the graph, negative two and 12, that are equally distant from five and the distance is seven. So when you're creating an absolute value, keep in mind that inside of the, parent inside of the walls, I call them the walls, there's an X minus the coordinate equals the distance. So the distance is on the outside. So if within the absolute value you end up seeing plus five, just know that the coordinate used to be negative five. So if it's negative, then it's a positive coordinate. And if the, it's a positive sign inside of the absolute value, the coordinate was negative. Easy breezy, I think. Well, let's go. Give it a stab. What do you guys think? What's your distance? Three units from. So three is the distance. So your equation has to equal to three. Now, what is the coordinate? The coordinate is set negative seven. So within the absolute value, we must have negative seven. So thank you, Nelson Fu, for giving us this example. Next question uh, comes from the real SAT. Give it a shot. This is from SAT 6, I think. If you said A, you're absolutely right because the coordinate is negative 4, what has to be inside of the uh, inside of the absolute value is positive 4 and the distance is 3. So, the answer is this. I hope this helped you guys. Don't forget every month we choose one lucky person. You must leave a comment below this video and um, every month I just randomly choose. It's either me or one of my clients. We choose one lucky person who gets on the free tutoring session with me for a whole hour. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you all um, in person. Bye.